Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. And today is Monday the 2nd, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning, um, fairly decent time. Uh, we kinda were up a little later than normal. Um, wife was off work again today, so we didn't have to get up extra early or nothing. So, got the dogs taken care of, got them out, um, got that handled. From there, um, went across the street, went ahead and got those dogs taken care of, got them out. Um, I ended up hopping in the hot tub for a little bit and enjoyed a nice little soak over there while I kind of played fetch with the dogs a little bit. I got the one dog where he would come up and let, take, get, hand me the ball without putting it in a hot tub. I didn't want him dropping the muddy, sandy ball in the hot tub. So I've been working on training to do that. So I threw the ball for him and stuff. So we hung out there a little while, um, got them all situated back in and then headed back across the street. Got the dogs over there all fed and situated, all the medications in them and whatnot. Worked out just fine uh, from there. Got a few things around the house done, nothing real super major. Just kind of getting a few things taken care of. Uh, hung out for the day. Um, my wife and mother had bought some steaks, I guess, some New York strips, and they wanted me to grill them up. And I said, absolutely, I can do that. Found out, um, like, late, late in the day, that they had actually froze them. I guess they actually bought them. They were supposed to be what I was going to cook for my birthday. But then they asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I said something else. I didn't know they bought steaks already. So they threw them in the freezer. So they was making them some other day. We're saying, hey, we already have some New York strip. We really have that instead. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So they put it, took them out of the freezer yesterday, whatever, to thaw them. And they weren't thawed yet. So it is what it is there. And it's like, you know, stuff happens and whatnot. But as I went to grill them up, late in the day they were still like hard and frozen in the middle so it's like oh shit i gotta change the way i cook these but that's later on in the process so but yeah i got a few things around the house done uh, on both sides uh spent time in both houses back and forth throughout the day my wife was over at the old house doing a little bit of stuff over there uh, hanging out with all the dogs trying to get that talk to the owner who's coming back to get those two that have been staying across the street her flight got delayed couple hours so she was not gonna be able to get didn't pick them up um, tonight she was in the borderline picking them up late as it was but I was like yeah no big deal we'll figure it out it'll be fine and turns out that that's not gonna work so um, I got them until tomorrow which isn't the end of the world it's not a big deal got that all wrapped up taken care of um, went ahead talked to the owner of the one little poodle that's been in the hospital um, he's out he's back home he says when well, he's trying to drop the dog off Wednesday that's when we worked it out. That's so we're running really low on food, so we got to figure it out here pretty soon. And he's like, okay, hope I'll do that stuff. I said, I'm going to have enough food for tomorrow. And that's it. Like, by Wednesday morning for breakfast, he is out of food. So either you got to be healthy enough to get the dog and take him back by Wednesday, or I need to um, at least go buy more food, come by your place and pick up more food or whatever, which drives me nuts because this was supposed to be like a two-day stay. And it's been going on like a week, seven nights now. So there will be seven nights by the time I take it back Wednesday. But it is what it is. So went ahead, um, got, got that at least squared away. So we have a time frame for Wednesday to get the dog back. Which will be, I mean, better than nothing. But I just, I tell people, bring me way more food than you ever imagined. And that way I can always give you back extra food. I hate running out of food for a dog. Because then I got to switch his diet and it becomes a problem. So... The RV dogs, I had to um, go buy more food for them on, during this trip, which kind of thought was a possibility. And she told me it was a possibility, and it's a Dollar General, so it's not a big deal. But as soon as I told her about it, she was like, quick, she Venmo me some money, got it taken care of, and got it all figured out and done with. So, but yeah, um, went ahead, got a couple things back and forth, both houses done, not a lot of stuff, just kind of right now I'm waiting to move all my father in law stuff back in. The elevator's broke in the storage unit, so I'm stuck. Um, I can't carry stuff down multiple flights of stairs. Not worth it. It's just not worth it. One, stuff get broken, get dropped, and now I'm just hiking up and down stairs all damn day. No, not going to happen. So they claim they're close past me out there on Friday to look at it. it. doesn't say fix it. It says look at it. So hopefully they'll get it working, and I can then go get all my stuff or all his stuff. None of my stuff's not all his stuff. Moved in the house and all that going on. So it just sucks. But... It is what it is. So yeah, went ahead, um, went and got my run in, got my shower. When I got back from my run, I fired up the grill, dumped it through charcoal, had it starting real slow. Went and got my shower, got out of the shower, and it was just barely smoking. Never really caught, never caught fire. So I grabbed the leaf blower, tried to get it going. Wasn't working. Finally, he was able to get it to light up, and 
got it burning a little bit. So heat them to the grill so I can clean the grill grates. And also, uh, for my steaks, I like to get the grill like 650 degrees, like super hot in there. And then I chuck the uh, steaks on it. I throw it on for like a minute each side, and then I shut that baby down and let it just smolder in, let it cook through, and it turn out wonderful every time. Well, this time I went to put the steaks on, I went to season them up as I got the grill going, warm it up. It's about 350 in the grill at the moment. And I go inside to season up steaks, and they're still froze in the middle, like they're hard froze. I was like, oh shit, this is not what I wanted to do. So I went back out and shut the grill down a little bit to bring it down to about 300 degrees, and then checked the steaks on it. I actually threw meat thermometers in it, which I never do on my steaks I never need to like a big roast I do because that's way hard longer to take but on the steaks you just kind of know time frame and by pushing on them but them being frozen I was concerned about it so chucked them on the grill and turned the grill way down to like 300 325 is where I was trying to keep the grill out super low and tried to let it heat through because I knew if I had it at 600 on the outside it was going to burn the shit out of the outside and not have them in it'll still be you know frozen so I ended up overcooking them a little bit trying to cook them through slow enough because I definitely didn't want to serve with ice in the middle that's not what I was after so but they were edible um, we had some green bean casserole and then some microwave baked potatoes and had ourselves a nice little dinner from there headed back across the street um, played those dogs for a little bit got back over to the house reached out to a client that got a couple of dogs supposed to pick up yesterday got pushed back to pick up today hadn't heard from like hey you guys still come to get your dogs today oh yeah yeah we'll be there in like seven minutes that's okay cool and 12 about 15 minutes later they finally show up which i'm like how can you be that far off i understand seven minutes ain't that much off your time frame but when you give me a window of seven minutes and then you're 15 minutes to get here it's just annoying but got the dog to give it back to him i'd forgot to um i hadn't made him a coaster i've been making coasters for all my clients over the christmas new year's era i've been giving them a little gift and realized i hadn't made them one for the dogs so i burn it real quick on that laser I'm pretty certain I forgot to burn my contact information on the back, but oh well, they have my cell phone number, but I just kind of like it. So if they ever have somebody else ask or if they ever lose their phone, they have my number, but who knows? It's not that big a deal in the long run. So if I got that burnt real quick, gave them back their gift. They went ahead and gave me a small little tip, which is really nice. And it worked out well there. Um, their trip went fine. The dogs are back now. I got that little poodle, which will go home Wednesday. And then the two dogs across the street, they're going home tomorrow in the morning. Not sure when, but they'll go home tomorrow morning. So if I got back to the house, hung outside a little bit with the dogs, uh, had myself a nice scar. And then as I was heading to bed, I'm like, I'm gonna let the dogs back out one last time across the street. Just went over there and hung with them for a little bit, played with them for a little while, let them out one last time, and then wrapped it up and called it a night. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.